Hey, y'all, I was looking the other night and I was like, these are gems. I haven't seen anyone talk about this. Um, if I'm wrong, please link the video down below. But as far as I'm concerned, you got to hear first. This is an exclusive. I'm putting y'all on. So let's get right into the video. What's up, everybody? My name is Andre with the Dot Glimmy Duo. If you're new here and if you are, there's like this button down below that says like subscribe. And you can like click it and be part of the fam. So feel free. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back to another video. So today is actually a surprise video because I had a whole nother video planned before this one, but I just had to share it because the other night I was minding my own business, like I always do. And I came across the bombest pieces from the most unexpected place, y'all. And I just had to share it with somebody. I had to share it with somebody that's going to appreciate the core as much as I do. So that's what we're doing today. This is not sponsored, okay? Nothing is sponsored on this video, nothing at all. This is my honest and true opinion. I don't cap about stuff like this because I really do want to help my people out. <laughs> I help you, you help me. Hit that subscribe button, baby. <laughs> Bars. Now, we all know Urban Outfitters is like bomb. I get like a bunch of my clothes from there. Um, and I always knew they had a home section, but it was always really, I always felt like it was really bohemian. And if you put too much of Urban Outfitters in your space, it can, it can kind of feel like a dorm. But if you pick certain pieces, and not just fill the whole space up with one, you can cater to your style. So it's just all about curating and finding what, what pieces work for your space. So we all know the Santa Monica Proper Hotel. If you don't, I will insert some pictures of this beautiful place. People have literally like YouTube their stays there. The decor is bomb, designed by the beautiful, beautiful Kelly Wexler. And just the pieces, everything just the feel just the everything about the aesthetic of this hotel is just luxurious so i was looking on urban outfitters and i was like some of this stuff looks really familiar like these items really look familiar and i really i couldn't put my finger on where i had seen you know the originals of i'm sure these are dupes because i mean in urban outfitters these aren't like design pieces but I kept scrolling and I was like, I don't know where I've seen this stuff from. And then I scrolled and I saw this chair and it hit me. This is so Santa Monica proper hotel vibes. Now, the original chair looks like this. Whew. And I don't know if the one that you can get from Urban Outfitters, like the back, I don't know if you can take that part off and kind of you know repurpose that back to look more like the original but y'all this is such a dupe it is such a good piece and even if you can't take the back off it's still good i wouldn't go crazy and put like four in a space but maybe like one or two just as an accent disclaimer let me warn you guys i usually share really budget friendly items these items are a little bit pricey but Relative to paying Kelly Wurstler or buying these original pieces from the hotel, they're fairly cheap. These are statement pieces. So I'm sorry if you are looking for a chair for $10, this ain't a video, sorry. Okay, back to what I was saying. This chair is just iconic to me. And this dupe that they have, I'm really seriously thinking about getting it and putting it in my studio. Like, I'm really thinking about it. I'm waiting on that stimulus check. <laughs> I'm gonna read the specs for you guys for this chair. This is called the Andy Shag Chair um, from Urban Outfitters. It is $498. Oh, I know, I know, it's a little expensive, but these are statement pieces, y'all. We save money everywhere else, so we can splurge a little bit. It is made of rubber wood, plywood, faux fur, and foam. So for all the animal lovers out there, we're not killing any, you know, any animals so we can sit on them. This is faux fur, but you still get the look, and I am just, in love now 
if you look at the picture, um, they have these chairs next to this leather sofa. The juxtaposition is real because you get this chic, feminine, edgy chair next to this rich, masculine, luxe leather sofa and it just it just works they're so opposite but it just works and this is like my favorite type of decor nowadays my place is really a juxtaposition in a shell like and i actually i think that's what my style is juxtapositionary we're gonna make that up that's what my style is heavy on the i paid for it this combination is just bomb to me now if you want this look i already told you about the andy shag chair they also have leather sofas on the site so the two leather sofas that urban outfitters have that are pretty much like a dupe you still get that color payoff and that richness one is called the greta and one is called the direct let's get into the greta first so the greta to me is a total dupe oh i don't want to mess up their name i hope i say this right the linear rosette togo chair i think i said that right this chair is like very relaxed it's very laxed it's not high brow you know what i'm saying it's very lax very eclectic i love this sofa and it's actually a, a sleeper sofa so if you have like a studio apartment and you don't have space for guests this can be their sleeping quarters for the night <laughs> just don't mess it up because this is a really nice piece so specs for the greta it is a sleeper sofa like i said so it's very functional very practical in my in my opinion it is recycled leather which i assume they just cut up some other leather and made this couch so they didn't kill another animal to make it that's just in my head that's what i believe so yeah it's recycled leather and it goes for 899 dollars kind of steep but like I said this segment of the video is for statement pieces I will have some more affordable um, things later on but right now I just got to get into the bougie of it all because it's just so good so yeah $899 get one of these two of the Andy Shag chairs and you have the look for less second leather sofa that I saw was the direct Let's get into that one. Now this one is way more structural than the Greta, but you still get really nice details. It looks fluted on the feet and the, and the arms of the chair. So you still get a, something different. It's not just your standard leather sofa. The price. <laughs> Woo wee. All right. This is $5,000, but $50 million. And who do you think you kidnapped Chelsea Clinton? <laughs> $5,000 chair. I can give me some Mario Bellini for that. But I'm just bringing y'all the look. So the details that they have on this is a two-piece sectional sofa and it's upholstered over the whole thing. The cushions are removable and it's genuine leather. Looking at the Santa Monica Proper Hotel, they didn't do your olive tree or your fiddle fig leaf tree like we all have in our homes. They did the Monstera and they did the Robolini. Is that how you say it? I think that's how you say it. And Urban Outfitters has both of these. Now the Monstera plant that they have is not the luxurious height it is in the hotel, of course. It's like it looks more like a like a table plant or somewhere you put on your counters. So the Robolini palm is about 48 inches high, so about four feet. Um, you can always elevate it a little bit more by putting, you know, getting a bigger pot and filling the bottom of like shoe boxes or something and kind of elevating it a little bit more. That goes for $64. Not bad at all. Get the look for less. I've never been to the Santa Monica Proper Hotel, but on Pinterest, on YouTube, you get a feel for what it looks like inside. And this console table that I'm about to show you next just blew me away. I love a console table and this one is just, it's not your average. I mean, it's Kelly Wester, so it's not, it's not gonna be your average. Her style, her design is very unique to her. Like if you see it, you kind of know <laughs> who did it. Urban Outfitters has a very out of the box, if you will, console table. It's called the Roma Storage Console. And this is just life to me. 
It's so good. It looks so good. Oh, they have a teal one. Um, okay, that could work in the right space. I wouldn't do the teal, but yeah, whatever. It's $499 and it's MBF bent wood. Um, I guess that means it's my real wood. I don't know all the terminology. I don't know what everything means. If your style is very neutral and you have very muted decor, you can use this as an accent piece. I just see it in so many different homes, so many different styles. It's just so bomb. Now, of course, when we're talking about console tables, we need decor on top of this. On a console table, I'm always looking for, you know, different shapes, different things to coordinate with console table to complement it and also give a statement. So I actually found some pieces on Urban Outfitters that I think would look bomb on a plain console table, on this console table I just told you about. One of them I'm actually about to show you because I actually purchased it myself. It is this Toby candle holder. Um, it's black. It The shape, y'all, this is just good. It's like a horseshoe. I actually ordered two. I guess they were coming from different stores. This one came and I'm still waiting on the other one. But it looks so good on my console table. My table, my console table is not out there. It's not really unique. It's just, I mean, it's just a plain console table. But putting little pieces like this makes it very interesting. Create a statement, but not too much. You know what I mean? So yeah, I got this. Um, you just stick your, oh, it has like a little needle on the inside to keep your, tapered candlestick in place because it's so annoying trying to light something and it's like slanted and moving everywhere so I thought it was a really good idea this is one of the budget friendly pieces in this video it's just so nice it's only 18 bucks it's ceramic you can't go wrong the next piece I want to tell you guys about and it is very Kelly Wurzler esque is the Georgia vase now this vase is $59 so a little bit up there but it does give you that Kelly Wurzler vibe. And it looks so good on its own. Um, Urban Outfitters actually has a piece of pompous, which works. You can put a little branch in it. Honestly, I would just leave it by itself and just let it speak for itself because it's a really good piece. Another vase that I saw that was really, really nice to me, really different, was the Isadora vase. This one is $59 as well. Now the Isadora vase to me is a little bit more understated, so if the loops on the Georgia vase is a little bit too much for you, this might be a good option. You still get that height on your console or your counter or wherever you want to put it, but you don't get as much of the loopiness. So that's another option for you. So the next items that I'm about to talk about are cult favorites, and they are these cane chairs. When I tell you I see cane chairs everywhere on my Pinterest, I see cane chairs everywhere on my Pinterest. My news feed, they pop up. People with different styles, they just stick them in their living room, bedroom, wherever, and they work. I honestly believe these chairs work in every single space and every single style, and Urban Outfitters has them for you. So Urban Outfitters has two different options. One is called the Halley, and one is called the Elise. Let's get into the Elise first. So this chair is actually the black framed one and it has fabric seating. Okay, it's $479. Let's just get over to Sticker Shop, okay? Some of these pieces are a little bit pricey, but I already told you some of these pieces are statement pieces, meaning you're gonna have to pay statement prices. So the material um, that they describe this chair is nettle wood, cane, and fabric. Like I said, um, it's not just hard bottom where you sit down and there's no cushion so you don't have to worry about getting a cushion to fit this chair it already comes with one and it just looks so good the black against the tan and then you have the white seating so much contrast so much dimension so so good i will show you some inspo it literally like this chair looks good everywhere you can put it in your dining room table in your living room bedroom literally <laughs> looks good everywhere proof is in the pudding and then we have the Halley lounge chair which looks a little bit more lax to me just because it looks like it's kind of like leaning back a little bit this one is $499 as well they describe it as mango wood cane so you just wipe it clean this one does not come with a cushion so if you want one you have to provide yourself with one but it still looks good on its own brown on the tan it just looks so good it looks so warm so cozy ah oh, such a vibe 
Now everybody knows that I love a good mirror. It's good for everybody. You can see what you look like in them. They reflect light. They make your place look bigger. It's a win-win across the board. Urban Outfitters has this one that really, really caught my eye. It's called the Tabitha Art Mirror and it's so good. Let's get into it. So this mirror actually comes in a black frame or a wooden frame. So depending on your aesthetic, you can choose. You don't have to paint. Because I know, y'all, I know we, we like to DIY stuff, but sometimes you just don't feel like it. Sometimes I'm just tired and I don't feel like it and this project's always mess up and my period is on and I just I just want to sit down. I just want to buy it and it just be done because I ruined some of the stuff that I paid hundreds of dollars for and I'm so sick of it and I'm tired and I'm tired and I'm tired and I worked all day and I don't feel like doing it and I don't feel like DIYing it. They did it for you. So we have two different options. If you want the wooden one, you can go with the wooden one. If you want black, you go with black. If you want white, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to paint it. <laughs> okay, so anyway, off that, they range from $199 to $449. They have three different sizes. So the smallest one is gonna be the vanity mirror. Vanity mirror is three feet high and about 31 inches wide. So you get a lot of, a lot of surface area, a lot of room to see everything you need to do in a mirror okay next size is the floor mirror which is six feet high and 31 and a half inches wide which is actually a really good size a tip if you are you know taller than your mirror if you put it up on the wall if, even though it says it's a floor mirror most of them come with like hooks or you can buy hooks to put them on, on the wall it'll actually make it taller and you can still see your whole body in it you can still see your feet and then you can see up to, to the top of your head so that's just a tip for you guys so size up from the floor mirror is the extra large floor mirror. This one is six feet two, just like the other one, but instead of it being 31 and a half inches wide, it's actually 47 inches wide. So you get more surface area this way. So you get a lot of good options here, depending on what you need for your space. I love a good arc mirror. It looks so good in traditional homes, modern, mid-century, eclectic. Every style literally looks good. It does. Ooh, this next item just really makes me excited because it is a concrete table. And I love concrete. I love the industrial feel that it gives to your space. In particular, this table, the shape got me. We are all about shapes over here. And I just love the shape. It's not round. It's not your standard rectangular. It is, what is this called? <laughs> All right, it's, it's good, okay? It's a good shape. It's something interesting, but it's still understated because it's not a loud color. It's just concrete, but it's still, like I said, it still makes a state statement. The concrete table actually goes for $159, which really isn't that bad. Um, I can see it in multiple spaces, bedside tables. You can use it for your living room as your end tables. It's just so good, y'all. And a concrete table is just like a staple piece. Like, I really feel like it will never, ever go out of style. You can use it if you're traditional all the way to bohemian. Now, what really, really, really interested me and something I've never thought about doing in my place, but I actually ordered one is a mud cloth. This mud cloth is called the, uh, well, it's just Urban Renewal Authentic Mud Cloth Textile. Okay, I mean, nothing interesting about the name, but it was only $49. Now, what was really sweet about this, um, this item, which is, it actually made me hit the purchase button because I was thinking about it, I was like, mm, maybe I want it, maybe I don't. But this actually did make me hit purchase. The purchase of each authentic one-of-a-kind piece from our limited mud cloth collection provides a child and Molly with two full meals. I want to say, is it Molly? I think it's Molly. But I just thought that was really sweet. Like, I'm buying something for myself that I don't really need. But for me buying it, I'm giving to somebody else who needs something. You know what I mean? So it's the gift that keeps giving. I'm gifting myself and gifting this kid. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, $49, and I'm actually gonna put it in a frame and 
put it as wall art. They have it just hanging on the wall that's very bohemian, but my style isn't really bohemian, so I'm just catering to my taste and I'm gonna frame it, and I'm just so excited about it, so ready for it to come into the mail. Last but not least, I really wanna get into the bedding. Um, in my last video, I went to the pottery, there's dust everywhere, sorry. In my last video, I went to the Pottery Barn um, outlet and I was looking for like linen sheets and just linen bedding in general and I didn't really find anything that looked like oh I want to try this but Urban Outfitter Urban Outfitters actually has some really good options for that they have the uh, shams they have the duvet covers so bomb and they have them in different colors too I was leaning more towards a white but they have all of them purple they have orange so many different colors because I mean like, like I said their style is very bohemian but they're still catering to other people so the linen bed sham set that I saw is actually on sale it's originally $39 but it's $34 now um, and like I said they have white they have taupe they have yellow they have olive they have like a deep mauvey purple and it, it's just so bomb so you get two of the shams so $17 a piece which is not bad at all y'all it really isn't now it's not 100% linen, it is a linen blend, but I think that's because that reflects the price. Like that's why it's only like thirty nine dollars because it's not 100% linen. Now here is an RH dupe. They have these down alternative duvet inserts. Now I've really been since last year. I've really been studying materials and you know different decor aspects. So I never knew. They sold inserts for duvets. I didn't know that. <laughs> but apparently they do. Urban Outfitters has a heavyweight one and they have a lightweight one. So depending on the months, like if it's cooler where you're at or if it's hotter where you're at, you can kind of cater to that need. The heavyweight one is $139 for a king and the lightweight one is $119 for a king. And of course, if you get smaller sizes, it's cheaper. Um, I actually looked up a YouTube video on how you insert a duvet insert into a duvet because to me, a duvet cover is just a duvet cover. <laughs> but apparently, some of them come with like buttons or zippers where you can fill them. And boom. So this is actually a really cool option, a really cool and more affordable um, alternative to the RH one. Because the RH, well, there's, they list it as a comforter. Theirs is $729. And if you just want that look, you don't have to insert this into a duvet. You can just use it as your comforter. So I would just keep it as is and use it as a comforter and layer my bedding and get that luxe hotel feel. Okay, everybody, so that is it for me today. Like I said, this was a surprise video. I had a whole nother video planned, a whole nother video that was supposed to go up in place of this. Let me know if you are going to try some of these pieces because honestly, y'all, y'all think I'm playing. I really am debating about buying that Andy Shag chair. Like, I really am. I don't have to say for it and I don't know where it's going, but I can picture it in my studio. I really, really can. So, Y'all, I will keep y'all posted and let y'all know. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sitting here and listening to me rant and rave about my new discovery because I was just so excited. And sharing is caring, so I need to share it with the fam. I hope I gave you guys some good tips on a serious note. Thanks again for watching. Thank you for your continued support. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.